channel so today's video is a fun extra special video now I'm stealing from me and Maples geez so original um anyways so today is actually pretty fun I'm filming a few videos just to kind of get them uh, done so I can upload them because they're fun so yeah let's get into that Today I'm going to be testing some new products. They might not necessarily be new to the market, but they are new to me. So they may be new to you. See my logic? And I want to give you a sneak peek into next video. So this should be going up Tuesday. Even though my normal video is Monday, but I have a lot of stuff going on Monday. So this is going to go up on Tuesday. So this should be up Tuesday, which means my next one is Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I have a very fun video. So I have more than what I'm about to show you. I have a bunch of mascaras, I have even more than this, and I'm going to find out what the best mascara is that is on the market right now. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned for Wednesday's video if you want to know what a good mascara is. I have a bunch of mascaras, some drugstore, some high end, and uh, yeah. But that is going to be the next video. So if you want to stay tuned for today's video, we're going to be testing some fun products. So what I got today for things that are new, like new to me, I don't know if they're new to the market, but they're new to me, the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I got that. And I also got the Conceal and Define from Revolution. I believe this has been out for a while. I've heard people talk about it. I know people like it, so I wanted to try that. Um, another thing that is new is the Gemstone Collection from Doe Color. I have mentioned this before, but I haven't gone around to using it, so I think I'm going to use one of them today. I have some really cool ideas that I want to use these palettes in, but I want to test them out before I go and do that. Um, I have the Too Faced Hangover uh, Primer that I really want to test out. Got that in BoxyCharm. I have the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I also have... The Professional Super Setter. I know this was new to the market, but it's been out for a little bit. Um, I have the Hocus Pocus Lashes. Um, I have all three. I gave one to my mom because she loves Hocus Pocus. Um, but I have the Hocus Pocus Lashes that I'm going to test out. I have this Pure Shake and Bake Powder 2 Cream Under Eye Concealer. I have a Studio Makeup Endurance Cream Eyeshadow. I have the Cover FX Custom Drops. So these are custom cover drops. You are you can personalize your coverage with these revolutionary multi-use pure pigment drops. I have this sheer lip paint from QO. I have the deep cleanse from Tatcha. I have this lip oil from Cab. And 
and I have this 111 Skin um, Celestial Black Diamond Contouring Gel. This is a gel contour. And lastly, I have Kiss My, Kiss My, Kiss My, and this is a liquid lip balm. So I don't know if we're going to get to everything today, but we're definitely going to try some stuff out. Oh, as well as I have this Cheek Party Benefit. Um, it's like this set that I got. It was like 40 bucks, and you get the whole set. Um... You get two new shades in it, so you get golden pink blush, the matte bronzer, pink, baby pink brightening powder, rosy, bl rosy bronze blush, which is the new one, and the golden peach blush, which is the new one. So I'm excited to try that out. I've heard really good things about it. And I already have some mascara on, so I'm just going to leave it like that. They're pretty spider-legged already. We don't need any more. So let's get into using these new products. So the first one I'm going to use is this Hangover or X, or Hangover X. But uh, the first thing I'm going to use is this Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Is it Hangover or Hangover X? Like, because there's an X at the end, so. But this is the Too Faced Primer. Um, so it makes 100% smoother, 100% more radiant, and 100% more hydrated, and 100% appearance of a full night's rest. That's what apparently they say that it gives you. So it says, when long days of work and late nights of play give you a beautiful hangover, this is your instant cure. Hangover is a revolutionary makeup primer used with coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers that work together to boost skin radiance, promote elasticity, and help hydrate while locking down makeup for fresher, longer, and more flawless wear. Okay, so it's like this tube. I've never used the a uh, primer from Too Faced before. Oh no, I've used their peach one, but I've never used one like this. So, so it's got a pump. There we go. Okay, so it's kind of got a smell to it. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of sticky a little bit. Yep, I, I like that. I will definitely have to continue to use it, but I definitely feel like the hydration in it. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. This might be a little bit dark for me, um, but that's okay because summer is coming up. So it's, it's a Dofa applicator, which I'm fine with. Um, I much prefer pumps, just for sanitary reasons. But you can definitely, like, put it onto the back of your skin and then do it, rather than putting it on your, or back of your hand, rather than putting it on your skin. I just don't care right now. I think I put a lot on. I definitely think I put too much. But that's okay, you live and you learn. Mmm, that smells like paint. Ah. Does, did anybody else get that with this foundation? Wow, that is full coverage, and that is a nice finish. 
it completely concealed this eye. I feel like it didn't conceal this eye as well, um, because it didn't get as much product on that side. Um, also this side is just really dark. But this eye is concealed to the point that I would go out like that. Wow. That is a nice finish. So let's see if it lasts. So it says that uh, it's just a full coverage foundation. Doesn't look like there's anything really on it. So now with the concealer, there we go, with the concealer I'm going to do one eye with the cover drops and one eye without, just to see if there is a difference. So this is what the drops look like. So I'm going to do one eye without cover. It's a nice concealer. It's a nice concealer. So I guess shake well and add desired number of drops to personalize the shade. So the more drops, the more coverage, and then just mix it and apply. So I'm just going to put it at the back of my hand. So this is the coverage, just putting it on with the cons with the foundation. I'm just going to take the back of one of my brushes and just mix that. It's definitely brighter. More liquidy. Sealed. And this eye is really hard to conceal with how dark it is. But I definitely feel like this eye is more concealed and brighter. What do you guys think? So now I'm going to be going in with this travel sized container of goodies. So as I mentioned in many many videos, I love travel sized makeup. I see the product that I want to buy and I see its travel sized version, I will buy that. Not only is it cheaper, but also it's a less waste. When I do, when I get a lot of makeup, I have a lot of makeup. And a lot of it goes to waste when I only use half of it and the other half gets expired because I've used other products instead of that one and it just doesn't like, it just becomes a waste. So buying travel always works best for me. So I got a bunch of these. They're like super small. So got the... Dandelion Baby Pink Brightening Face Powder. Super cute. They're like little plastic containers. Then we got the Golden Peach Blush Georgia. This is apparently new. Excited to see that. Then we got the Hula Bronzer. I love the Hula Bronzer. doesn't want to open it. So we got this guy. And then we have the Sunny Golden Pink Blush. 
Ooh, look at that. And then last we got the Dallas Rosie Bronze Blush, which I believe is the new one as well. And these are all benefits. So I think first I'm going to go in with the Baby Pink Face Powder, the Brightening Face Powder, and I'm just going to... Take a flat brush and just put that under the eye and brighten. I like this. It kind of it brightened my eyes a little bit. Made them a little bit pink though, which it is a baby pink one. So maybe it shouldn't, I shouldn't have used it as concentrated. Maybe it should have been like on a big brush. I don't know. If you use the Baby Pink Brightening Face Powder from like the Dandelion one, let me know how it worked for you and how you used it. So that I can try it like you. So now I'm going to go in with the Golden Peach Blush. The only thing is, I don't get how this is peach. I thought peaches were kind of more yellow, or pink. But, you know, let's try it out anyways, because maybe we'll find an absolute win. Actually, first I'm going to go in with the Hula Bronzer and bronze up a bit. I absolutely love the Hula Bronzer, so I know that I'll like this. And I'm really excited to have it in a travel size. I have the Hula Bronzer in a travel size, um, I believe. <laughs> but I know it is definitely expired. And one of my videos that are coming up is a makeup declutter, getting rid of expired makeup. Um, putting giveaways together and a donation pile of what I'm going to be donating when COVID lets us donate again. Just stuff that I haven't used or used a little bit. Um, but like the stuff that I haven't used but like swatched um, or used some of that I can't put in a giveaway or I can't sell it. Stuff like that. Alright, so that bronzer is beautiful. Absolutely love it. So now I'm going to use the blush. It's got kind of a shimmer to it, but it's golden, so. Is it? Yeah, it's golden. It's really pretty. I like that. That is pretty. I'm just going to take my normal Natasha Denona, and this is the All Over uh, Glow. Like the body shimmer and stuff, but I like to use it on my face. I have it in light. So pretty. So I'm kind of feeling maybe purple. Got some purple in my sweater. So let's go in with the Power Stone and maybe a little bit of blue, so the Space Stone. So we got Space and we got Power. So it's got this beautiful array of colors. These look so vibrant, so beautiful. 
Let's see the purple. Look at that. Wow. The shimmers are definitely calling my name. So I think I'm going to start off with the purple. I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here. There's no names on these. So I'm just going to start off with this light purple. There's a lot of fallout, but there's fallout in everything. If you guys haven't seen last week's video, um, I reviewed the ColourPop X Bambi eyeshadow or full collection, and there was a lot of fallout. So I think you guys know fallout is not the end of the world for me. So now with a clean brush, I'm just going to buff it out. Usually I wing out my eyeshadow, but I think today I'm just going to keep it like this. And now I'm going to take a little bit of this white shade. And just kind of buff that in to further smooth out the edges. So I've already started planning out my Halloween looks because last year I flopped on them. I was not prepared. I overwhelmed myself. That's my fault. But I'm going to prepare early. I'm going to start early. And I'm going to kill it this year. So now I'm going to take this very sparkly purple. That is definitely calling my name. Ooh. Wow. 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 Packing it on is definitely the best way to go. But, like, wow, look at that. It's not patchy at all. Been, like, there's barely any fallout of the glitter. Wow. I was not expecting that. So I just applied the darker purple to the lower lash line. And now I'm going to test the blue palette, or I guess the space palette. I really do like the Avenger movies, so I'm really happy that uh, they came out with this, even though it's not technically licensed Avengers. Um, it's pretty cool. Alright, so I went ahead, finished the eye, and popped on the lashes and the inner corner um, eyeshadow only because it's pretty easy stuff and the lashes took forever. <laughs> anyway, so I like the lashes. They're definitely not my favorite. They weren't the easiest to put on and they're pretty, like, small. But they definitely were not the easiest to put on. Um, a little self promo, mine are super easy to put on. But they are really nice, and for people that like a little bit of a smaller lash, they would be nice. I definitely should have put on the Flirty Lash, as they are huge. But um, I used Boss Witch. So I used Boss Witch, which is the... Um, there's Sarah, Mary... color 
So now I'm going to use the sheer lip paint. So again with the Dofa. Ooh, I like the Dofa. I like that it like wraps around your lip for like an even application. I really like that. That's really pretty. Definitely will have to go and try other colors. I think that is really pretty. So that is it for the, oh no, we have setting spray. So I got the mini version of the Pore Professional Super Setter. I know this is new because there was a big new sign at my store. I got this when it first came out. I know it's been out for a little bit. And we also have the rose water setting spray. So I think I'm going to try half my face with the rose water. That's nice. It smells good. A little too much though. And then this side with the professional long lasting makeup spray. I like that. That felt like really refreshing. And it's not like a harsh spray, which I really like. So, uh, this multitasking micro fine mist leaves skin feeling smooth, refreshed, and hydrated. It locks on the makeup for 16 hours, inst instantly blurs pores, weightless feels, and absorbs instantly. Apparently it's been tested on 20 minutes. Or, sorry, 20 women. <laughs> and roses are said to carry the highest vibrational frequencies of any known natural substance on the planet. Set your intentions and your makeup with your aura lifting antioxidant packed rose water setting spray. Mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours. So both of these are 16 hours. I'm not going to be wearing it for 16 hours in this video, but maybe in a different video. I can wear it for that long and see what's going on, but your girl's got other stuff she needs to do today with makeup, so. But I do want to say it has been about three hours since I've taken off, or since I've put on this foundation, as I've had to stop a few times for some interruptions, but that is okay, but the foundation is still on. It's beautiful. There's no creasing. It doesn't look like it's like shiny at all except for the parts where I put highlighter on. But it's not cakey. It hasn't creased. It hasn't moved. It's on there and it's beautiful. And I am definitely going to be using this foundation for a long time. I really love this foundation. Same with the concealer. I really like the concealer. Cover FX drops, um, I honestly, they're, they're good, and if you have like a favorite concealer but want more coverage, I would definitely use it, but I don't think I'm going to be using them on the daily, but they are good. The bronzer and the uh, highlight and the whole benefit package, absolutely loved. Um, yeah, I absolutely love them. The eyeshadow, definitely a win, thumbs up. Okay, so this is the final look. I really like how it turned out. It's been about six or seven hours since I put on the foundation. Like I said, I was doing a lot of stuff. Foundation is still on, beautiful. The eyes are still covered. I'm still matte. Um, not many creases. The only crease is on my chin, but that happens with every foundation. Um, I really like the setting sprays. I really feel like they did lock in the foundation and mattify yeah and I, I still really like the eyeshadow um I will definitely be using the lashes again hopefully they'll apply a little bit easier I think that might have just been me <laughs> um I really like the lip yeah and the bronzer turned out beautiful so I'm definitely happy with how everything turned out 
Um, if you like this kind of video where I test new products, then definitely comment down, down below and let me know what other new products you want me to test out because I can definitely test those out. And as well as if you want to know which mascara is the best one on the market right now, um, then definitely come back for Wednesday's video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 300. It really does mean a lot to me. And you are helping me grow my family, and I really appreciate that. I love you guys a lot. If you'd like to follow me on my other social media, it's my Instagram is mbk underscore beauty underscore. My TikTok is mbk underscore beauty. If you'd like to support my business, we are doing very well on there. Uh, we have aqua liners, glitters. I'm going to be coming out with new products soon, so I'm really excited for that. So if you'd like to support that, then my website is caitlincosmetics.ca, and my Instagram for my business is caitlin underscore cosmetics, and my TikTok is caitlin cosmetics. Definitely give it a follow and a like on there. We will be doing many giveaways for my business on there and promotional stuff, so definitely give that a check. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.